is is it and i'm wondering about this like because there's the because there's this other element that i've noticed about that is that there's something inherently renewing right about about epiphanies about insight that there's something like regenerative there's something renewing about it like you know oftentimes i think and one of the things that happens in 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 dialogue or dialogos is is when it when 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 that flow starts right and 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 the light bulbs go out go off is that there's it's it's like old ways of looking kind of like fall off right and new words come in to t talk about in the in the in the, the the result of that is kind of a re a, like a resetting yeah. of perception totally. right that's the thing yeah. that needs to be really coupled with it is this insights and perception perceptual something going on with perceptions that opens up or rene yeah. renews it right in some way and i could think i could think of a few just examples of that like you know, one of the one of the points that Heidegger makes is that even though we usually think when, we, when somebody says what's a thing like, you think, oh, it's like this, you know, book sitting beside me on the table, and you you imagine some object. Yeah. You know, what his yeah. point is that that's not that's not the basic way you relate to things. More basically, you don't notice things. Things are, he, you know, he calls them sort of ready to hand equipment. You know, so much of our life is lived with. Uh, drawing on the pen or the eyeglasses or the chair in a way that you don't explicitly notice them and you just kind of live from those things. Mm. And when we start turning our attention to, to the, that dimension of our engagement with the world mm. where we take, we take things for granted, but don't notice it. Right. When we, when we start looking at that, we, we start learning things. Yeah. And I, you know, I think in class, if I'm teaching, you know, Heidegger and I start presenting that point, like that is people have an epiphany. Like they, people notice that about their experience and think, holy cow, that's right. And that's kind of like a doorway to a hundred things you can learn, you know, a hundred other insights. Right. So there's, there's, it's such a big thing. And it, and it's, it has exactly that character that you were just saying, like, it's, mm. it's just recognition of one facet of your experience, but it's, profound and it's transformative right when you start mm. looking at yourself in your world mm. in light of that you start seeing all kinds of things differently you start seeing your relations with people differently you start seeing your own behavior differently and i think that when people make that recognition they typically are kind of uh kind of go, whoa that's yeah. kind of wild and it does i think make people feel like reinterpreting and reconfiguring a lot of things in their lives yeah I had another example too oh, another example i was thinking of is if i'm teaching aristotle yeah. uh, I, I often teach his work um the nicomachean ethics where he basically talks about what it takes to form a healthy character you know healthy healthy personal character and you know he talks about familiar things courage and generosity and those are just words you can throw around everybody's heard of courage everybody's had Heard, heard about being generous and so on but i find when i teach that you know i can i can get people into a situation where they're really thinking about what it, what it really takes to be courageous and where it matters and so on and they can have a very similar effect that people suddenly notice the the importance of being courageous in a person's life and then they recognize about themselves ways in which they are and also ways in which they aren't yeah. you know and and yeah. that kind of there's a, a in a, similarly to what i was saying about the heidegger point yeah. with this uh people have a kind of um powerful yeah moment of looking at themselves and sort of re reinterpreting the way they've put stuff together, which includes especially the way they relate to other people, whether it's sometimes defensively, sometimes not defensively enough, you know? And, uh, and so I think there too, like just a notion like courage, you, if you get yeah. into that yeah. phenomenologically and actually don't just hear it as some idea out in the world, but you start thinking about right. how it is or isn't happening in your own way of living. 
Right. That again right. invites transformation. And I and I, my experience again is as you say, when people have an insight like that about the way they are being courageous or cowardly or rash yeah. in important dimensions of their life, it they they want it to yeah. be an opportunity to transform. Yeah. You know, and so yeah. so I I think uh so I I mean I, I at that point you made about the that sort of communal side of an open side of insight i think is is really right i think people's lives with others with their own psychological well-being those those things change on the basis of these 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 insights yeah so i think i think that's right 